Hi guys, welcome back. How do you solve this kind of question you are seeing on the screen right now? It appears difficult, isn't it? Yeah, but it is very simple to solve. Look up. So you have square root of 90 plus square root of 90 plus square root of 90 plus square root of 90. Like that. So how do you solve this kind of question? It is not difficult to solve at all. So if I were you, I just equate this to x. You understand now? So then if you equate this to S, then what can you say about this guy? Yeah. This guy will also be S as well. Why? Because, you know, we have like an, an, like an infinite sum. So you have square root of 90 plus 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 square root of 90. So it means this is also the same thing as X. You understand now, since what you have as s square root of 90 plus square root of 90 plus square root of 90, like that. So, then if you make this as x as well, so then you can just write this guy, then you have square root of 90 plus x is equal to x. So, yeah, your x is what? Square root of 90 plus square root of 90 plus square root of 90, and so on and so forth. So, then as soon as you have this, I think you can proceed further. So from here, I can just square the both sides, square both sides to get rid of this radical. Then I'm going to have square root of 90 plus x, everything squared is equal to x squared. I hope you understand now. So you will see that this square will cancel this radical. Then I have 90 plus x is equal to x squared. So you can see we have a quadratic equation now. So if you rewrite this guy, I'm going to have s squared minus s minus 90 is equal to 0. So then if that is cleared, then you can resolve this quadratically. And don't forget, if you want to solve this quadratically, perhaps you want to use your factorization method. Your a here, which is the coefficient of s squared is 1. Your b is minus x. And your c is minus 90. Uh, sorry, minus 1. So your b is minus 1. Then you are now going to find the product of AC. That's minus 90. Then you now think, so of the two pairs, you know for each of the numbers, we have factors. And from these factors, there are two pairs of factors of a number such that when you multiply these two pairs of number together, you are going to get number that number back. For example, when you have 9, you know factors of 9 are 1, 3, 9. So these are the factors of 9. Then you can have some pairs of these factors. For example, 1 and 9 are two factors. 3 and 3 are also factors. You understand now? Such that when you multiply this guy together, you are going to have that 9 again. So you have 1 times 9 is 9. 3 times 3 is 3. So it's 9. Likewise, when you have 10, you know, factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So there are two pairs, I mean, there are pairs of these factors such that we have 1, 10, 2, 5. Now, at the end of the day, 1 times 10 is going to give you 10. 2 times 5 is going to give you 10. I hope you understand now. So if that is cleared, you are now going to do the same for 90. You know, the factors of 90, you find it. Then you now think very carefully that out of the pairs of factors of 90, what are those two numbers you are going to multiply by themselves to give you minus 90? And when you add them together, you are going to have minus 1. That's very simple. Think of it. So I think those pairs are what? Uh, minus 10, 9. You understand now? Because minus 10 multiplied by 9 is going to give me minus 90 because minus 10 and 9 are factors of 90. Likewise, minus 10 plus 9 is going to give me minus 1. So then you now make, you, 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 you convert, you subtue this, I mean, uh, to be the middle number here. Then I'm going to have s squared minus 10x plus 9s. You will see at the end of the day, when you say minus 10x plus 9s, you are going to have minus s again. I hope you understand now. So minus 90 is equal to 0. Let me just clean this guy so that it won't confuse us. So if you now continue from there, if you continue from there, then I'm. Uh, if you group this guy now, if you group them like this, something of this nature, then you factor how the common factor here. So what is the common factor here? That is x. 
If you factor it out, you are going to have S left here, minus 10. Then you have plus 9. Then if you factor that, you have S here, minus 10 again is equal to 0. So what do you have in common? S minus 10 is common. So if you factor it out, you are still going to have X here, plus 9 is equal to 0. Then your S is equal to 10. You understand how? Let me explain. You know, you say 2... When you have the product of two numbers to be zero, it means either one of the numbers is zero. You understand now. So two of you are in the room and you just hear a smell. Perhaps somebody farted. You know, if you are not the one, then it should be your friend. So then you have S minus 10 is equal to zero or S plus 9 is equal to zero. So if S minus 10 is equal to zero, then what am I going to have? So that implies that S is equal to 10 or S is equal to minus 9. And if you come back to this question now, it means we have that the value of s is equal to 0 uh, is equal to 10 or minus 9. But can this be minus 9? It cannot be minus 9. Why? Because you are finding the root of that number. And I mean, you cannot have radical because your s is what? Is greater or equal to 0. You understand? And you know what I mean now? So your s is greater. Your s is positive. Is greater or equal to uh, is greater than zero? You understand now, or you, you can say it is greater or equal to zero. It is real, so your s is a real number because you can only find what you can only find the square root of what of a positive number. When you have, I mean, a negative number, you want to find the square root, then you are going to have an imaginary number. So it means your s cannot be what? So your s cannot be nine. Uh, it cannot be minus 9, so rather, so your S will be what? Your S is going to be 10. Then you can just conclude by saying that uh, your square root of 90, square root of 90, square root of 90, square root of 90, and square root of 90 is going to give you what? It's going to give you 10. So that's just it. If you understand... Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friend too. I will see you in the incoming videos. Thank you.